So there's this hilarious interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he talks about working out being a lot like something else that I want to share with you real fast. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. So can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific. Now besides this being kind of funny and maybe a little bit traumatizing, in this video I want to share some of the key lessons from Arnold's awkward comment that I think are going to really benefit you a lot in terms of getting fit and living a better life. What's up guys, Alex Hein here, author of the book Master the Day. And I think the very first lesson, which is the most important, is that almost any goal you want to achieve is going to take you longer than you think. You know, and I know for a lot of you, that's not something you want to hear. I mean, even when I started going to the gym at the start 12 years ago, more than 12 years ago, I thought that in a year I was going to be the ultimate fighter or that I was going to gain 30 pounds of muscle. You know, and it's we expect that given the marketing messages we're exposed to where you look like Hey, look at this one trick this dude got to get ripped. Look at this one thing this girl did to get this toned and lose 50 pounds. Those things are not real. You can't put on 30 pounds of muscle in a year. Not pure muscle. And you know, you could apply this to so many other things like building a YouTube channel, creating a business, having an amazing career, or finding work you love, or even a person you love. The reality is that all of these are processes that take time. Many of them are three, four, five seven-year processes and I think in this culture we're so used to things being fast and quick and being sold these scams we don't even realize that it actually really does take time so don't beat yourself up if you feel like it's been a year or three or a month and you're not there yet so the second lesson here is that honestly my belief now about success however you want to apply that word is that success is more about who can endure being in the arena the longest and basically outlast everyone else. And so that's the secret. How do you outlast everyone else? That's like the big question. Whatever it takes for you to last longer, stick with the gym longer. Stick with writing your book and getting rejected longer. Stick with your self-improvement until you can attract the kind of person you want. Save the amount of money until you can do that Paris trip. Because here's the thing, look, like even if you make awful progress, let's say you make 1% progress every six months towards a goal. Let's say it's weight or saving money or some generic self-improvement goal. Well, 1% over 6 months is 2% a year. So in 10 years, let's say you only made 20% progress. All right? Seems like nothing. Let's say your goal is to earn an extra thousand a month because that to you could mean security. It could mean travel. It could mean enjoyment or fun money. It could mean savings. It could mean medical expenses. And let's say your goal is a thousand. In all that time, you only managed to build an extra income of 200 a month. Well, you still have 200 a month and eventually you're gonna to get to that thousand a month. Or let's say you've only lost 20 pounds and you need to lose 100. Well, you're gonna look a lot better with those 20 pounds lost. Or that you only wrote 20% of your book. Well, you still have one fourth, one fifth of a book done. So what's the big deal? Even if you make the worst 1% incremental progress, you're still gonna reach that goal even if it takes forever. So this goal, getting fit like so many other goals, is just a matter of who can truly outlast everybody else. So how do you actually outlast everybody else? Well, the lesson here is that if you can find goals and activities and things in your life you like as much as sex, if they're that enjoyable to do, you will no doubt reach the goal over time. So I don't know if Arnold liked every minute of training, but when he talks about working out, getting the pump, being like having an orgasm, well, that's probably something he wants to do multiple times per day. You know, and if he explained it like every pump is like ripping a tooth out, he probably would not like to do it. And so the things you are most likely to succeed at, ironically, are the ones you just like to do, regardless of whether or not you reach the goal. So, you know, I've failed at a lot of goals in my life. There are so many things I've pursued that I've really fallen short. But when I think back to the three goals that I've been the most consistent in, like five years thinking about almost every day or working on every day, they are fitness, building a business, and constant self-improvement. In other words, working on my character flaws and things that I need to work on. And 
With fitness, it was because I fell in love more with the process of feeling good after every workout and having energy. With my business, it was, I want to do something impactful and hear that my impact was actually doing something, was actually impacting people that were then telling me, you did something that helped my life. And for self-improvement, it was purely to see better results in my life. I wanted to have money to travel. I wanted to actually attract the kind of women that I wanted. I wanted to have the business. I wanted to have the body I wanted. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to sleep well every night. I wanted to feel like my life had purpose and meaning. All of those things were where some aspect of the process I loved. And so whatever it is you want to pursue, it's only going to be painful and discouraging if you're so focused on the outcome that you hate the day-to-day or you ignore the day-to-day. And if you can switch it, do the Arnold switch, I'm confident you will reach your goals much better. So before you go, comment there below, and I want to hear from you, number one, what goal are you struggling with the most? And two, what is some aspect of a current goal that you really like? All right, guys, so I hope that video helped. Remember, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss crash course, seven-day course, at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash free. You can also check out the last two videos that have come out here and here, and I'll catch you soon. So before you go, I want you to leave a comment below.